So what is the story with this? Gunter! You just threw him across the room as if he was just a toy and not a penguin with emotions and feelings. Don't worry about Gunter. He'll be okay. Why do you call him Gunter? Oh, you'll find out, my friend. Is so that this right, is, Gunter? Th th this is wizard. <laughs> uh, okay, so... I'm trying to gather what I just watched in this one. <laughs> this one was especially odd. Um... <laughs> Okay, so the skeleton guy in a robe uh, is like, you know, do you want some free magic power? Sort of like a drug dealer, yeah. really. Uh, and he says, you know, and they're like, yeah! And he opens up this magic door, which is a great design, by the way. I just sound like, that is an awesome design. And they go through, and it's like this really backwards Harry Potter-style school. And... He gets all these magic powers, but it turns out the last one is to, like, the ultimate one of responsibility, which has him with these three old people keeping this asteroid from hitting their village. And he has to do that for the rest of his life. And while the wizard, who is a frog with a bunch of tadpoles in his throat, all speaking in USA except for one, but they correct that, uh... While he's burying one of the old guys, the cruelty to old people in this show is really quite staggering. Uh, he says, hey, I should use my magic powers to just move the town out of the way. Which is like, why couldn't he just use the magic powers to stop the meteorite? But I think this is not the kind of show to ask questions like that. And he moves out of the way. And then the skeleton guy offers a demon heart and they're like whoa for full circle and that's it <laughs> i don't have much for this one <laughs> I, no I, I will say this um that i am noticing in the show i think i've talked about this before like when we talk about humor i mean i always say all humor is pretty much based on misery like somebody or something has to suffer in order for comedy to work so po really positive upbeat humor it's really hard to come across. You usually need someone who's either really cynical or sick of the world or the misfit or the nerd or whatever. And both Finn and Jake, especially Finn, are just so upbeat about everything. I mean, they are just so positive and it's so incredibly likable and endearing. And I love how just anything that's thrown at them, they're just always like, yeah, let's go, let's go, yes, yes, and just... Anything that wouldn't impress anybody, they're just like, wow, that's amazing! And I I really love that. I love how they just enjoy everything they come across. And it's, I don't know, something about this episode especially, like, even though they got cool, whatever, magic powers. Or no, was it? They had the magic power at first to control the little dust yeah. mites dust or whatever. Dustamancy. <laughs> Dustamancy. And you think they're not going to be impressed by, oh, that's a stupid magic power. They're just like, awesome! This is incredible! I mean, they're just so happy to have anything. And that's... It's a good attitude. I mean, it's good for them. <laughs> I, I like humor and I like it just characters that are so filled with that positivity and just fun and, you know, do cool stuff like that. But aside from that, I, I don't have too much to say about this episode. Uh, what about you? Well, it's kind of funny because um, not long ago the new Pokemon game came out. And actually this reminds me of kids and collecting things. Because they get there and they have to do these stupid things to gain stuff that really doesn't help them in any way, shape, or form. But they're willing to do whatever it is possible to complete the set. <laughs> I, all, I can see that. <laughs> all Finn wants to do is get that final star so he can have all of them. That's why I think of Pokemon. He wants to collect them all. And what do they do? They eat a broom. They have to spin a coin. It's all these really simple and kind of really weird and bizarre things, but they're so excited because, oh my god, they're going to be able to have an infinite supply of mayonnaise. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really like, uh... Oh, I, I, actually, the one-hour joke before I forget is when The Rock comes alive. <laughs> yep. Like, I'm alive. What's going on here? Ah! Oh, hey! <laughs> I, that really killed me. Uh, alive but no, to die. <laughs> no, but that, that's a really good point because, uh... Like, like, even when I was watching it, it's like, you know, all it's missing is this one last star. Well, you can't really get that unless you blah, blah, blah. And there's a part of me that's just like, I, I, well, I see him get that star. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's just a big space there. It's just, and everything else is filled with stars. But no, he's got to have that star. That, that could just be OCD, though. Um, <laughs> which maybe 
maybe Pokemon and all these other marketing ploys are just playing to everybody's OCD. Gotta oh, yeah. collect them all, gotta have them all. Um, but yeah, no, that is a good point. That it's a lot of these powers don't even really do much. <laughs> like whatever, it's like the master. He can make this shadow horse, but he can't do anything. <laughs> they can't touch it. Um, yeah. yeah. Not the end, he does use it to, like, save the day, I guess, but... Which also brings up the whole thing of where he's up there with the two old people, and they're like, no, this is the way it's always been done, we have to do it, and he's like, you know, no, youth power forever, and he's, you know, saying, screw the old ways, we're gonna do it the new way, mm -hmm. which ends up not working when he's doing it by himself. Yeah, only when the old guys come. So uh, it has, it's almost a combination of old and young have to work together to actually fix a problem. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, well, especially, like, just with the other, I mean, yeah, it's not the ideology of the old people that's saving the day, but them coming with him, like, mm -hmm. their knowledge of how to do the powers and stuff helps out. Uh, so, yeah, that, that, that is pretty nice. Maybe and I'm it's, thinking way too deep into this, and Probably, it's just... but at the same time, it's still, you know, seeing them get along and stuff like that, helping each other out, even though they were originally using it just to fly away. It's like, oh, while you're up here, you can help me save him and just like, yeah. yeah, sure, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I just, why was he burying that one guy? That was so cruel. I just don't get why they're so mean to old people in this show. It's so random. Well, the first time it makes sense, though. Because, see, they're blowing up old ladies because that upsets Finn. Finn's trying to protect, you know, people, especially old ladies. But and... why, okay, why is he burying a guy? Okay, that one I can't say. Maybe he's just <laughs> a crazy morbid. frog guy. <laughs> Have you thought of that? I, I really do love that, that, that. I love that one tadpole that is off <laughs> at first. Because it is like how... I like that they do it early, too, you know, because then you're just constantly questioning, like, how do they know always what to say, and they do it in unison, when one could be off by a second, and it's like, ah. So, that was pretty funny. Uh, definitely really creative, like I said, just just that one wizard, it looks like the Hypnotoad. Yeah. Uh, it, it just getting the throne in the little temples. I mean, it's like, who, I can't just, who would think of that? It's just so strange and out there. Uh, so, uh, I liked it. It, it was sort of like, it, it sort of just came and vanished. I was just like, what the hell did I just see? But that's kind of half the episodes anyway. But, uh, no, it was fun, and I definitely liked it. Anything else to add? No. Sleep. Bye.